Hi and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in the Lake District. It's Hawes Water Reservoir and it's a breezy day. So uh, you might have noticed I've only got a little pack on today and that's because I've left the uh, gear in the car. I am going on a wild camp where I thought I'd just do one way and right first. The Arty Crag. And I've got a cold, but I just needed to get out. Whew. So I'm blowing out my arse. Got like a bad throat. It's probably the worst thing for us, but I just needed to get out, man. Anyway, I've got some new gear to test out. I'm going to be coming down next to the uh, lake, the reservoir, sorry. Uh, I've got a hammock to try out if it doesn't get too windy but also brought me tent just in case that goes wrong <laughs> which it might I'm also testing the new camera action camera the Brave 7 and I shall be uh, testing this out and that's what I'm recording on right now uh, it is an alternative action camera a little bit more fairly priced um, but we're going to see what it's like, I'm going to test it uh, and I'll let you know how it performs anyway I'm going to get up this hill and then I'm going to come back down get my gear and have a walk around the reservoir and uh, see if I can find somewhere to put this hammock <laughs> it's going to be very interesting catch you in a bit I found a nice place to sit down behind a wall. <laughs> Hartley Crag Pike. I missed the pike off before, if you couldn't hear it. Another one ticked off, another way and right. Anyway, I'm going to have a drink of water and then I'm going to go back down. So, as previously mentioned, I'm doing all my recording today, or most of it anyway, maybe it's not all of it, on the Akeso Brave 7, a uh, new action camera. You could say it's a sensible alternative to these other action cameras. Uh, more affordable, definitely more affordable. Uh, I do have one of these other action cameras. Uh, and you have to take a small mortgage out to get one. Very expensive. So I'm testing this one. And I'll let you know what it's like. How close it is to the, the more expensive brands. Up to now, it's doing pretty well. Uh, it looks the part. Um, but we'll find out. Anyway, here's a little intro about the camera. So, I'm on my way down now, part way down uh, Artley Crag Pike. Uh, didn't take long at all, 700 and, oh, 713 metres. Not, not to be sniffed at, but uh, without a pack on, uh, it doesn't take long at all. Anyway, there's a little bit of a boggy bit and then I'll um, be heading down to the car. Put me pack on and we're gonna have a walk around the reservoir.
Well, I'm here in the woods of choice. The rig, it's called. It's horse water reservoir. It wasn't far from the car. It's a good job because my backpack weighed the same as a mini. Ridiculously heavy. I'm not used to this comfort comfort camping. I'm normally lightweight up a mountain. Uh, it would have been easier. <laughs> but anyway, I'm here. Um, it's well used for camping. I think, um, as you can see, there's, there's the odd, uh, there's the odd fire, the odd fire pit. It looks pretty well made, and it's fairly tidy. There's no like rubbish, um, but there's a bit too much uh, widow makers around here for me. So I went deeper into the woods and found a nice place. Now it's on a bank, but uh, it's a little way, a little bit out of the way of anybody that might be walking along the path. It's still quite early. Um, I've just had a coffee, I've just put a coffee on in there. But I'm not setting up my tent yet. I took some uh, paracetamol for my head. I've got a cold, I don't know if I've told you. But uh, I just had to get out, um, and this is where I'm camping. <laughs> but I have a new uh, something, a new piece of kit. I have a new piece of kit to try out. <laughs> a hammock. My first time. I'm a hammock virgin. Now it's a night cat hammock, and it's got like a little tent on. I've never put it up. It's still in the cellophane. God knows what it's going to be like. We'll find out together. Yeah, and this is where I am. I'm just got my seat up there and a bit of a coffee. I've been testing the Casso Brave 7 Action Cam and I'm fairly impressed with it. It's uh, it's, it's basically a uh, uh, reasonably affordable or responsibly affordable action cam. It's not a cheap one, but it's not the, one of the expensive brands, which is, you would have to take a small mortgage out to buy one. But up to now, this this Brave 7 is on par, to be honest. Uh, I haven't come across any uh, differences yet, um, but I'm yet to play back some of the footage yet, so I'll, I'll hang fire for that. But you'll see it in the video. Well, it won't be long before I'm going to have to put my hammock up. And this is it. I've got the camouflage one. Um, although the bag doesn't look that much stealthy with this logo on it. Now I've seen, I know they've, uh, I think this is a new one where they've made the logo smaller on the actual tent. Um, which is nice because I'm a grown man and that's a pussy cat. I hope, um, I hope it's as good as what I've heard. Because at the moment I'm just going off the cat. I think I'll colour that in green. So it continues to be camouflage. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get this up while it's still light because it might take us a while. <laughs>
uh, it looks lethal. I hope this works, otherwise I won't be getting much sleep. I'm going to try lying in it before it's dark. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Right, <laughs> give us a second. So I've got the uh, hammock finally up. Um, I'll probably get seasick tonight. <laughs> it's like being on a boat. Anyway, it's got a pocket in here, which is really nice. Um, where you put your sleeping pad. Um, and I've just put my insulated Burgers Pro there. That'll insulate us quite well. And I'm just gonna put me uh, sleeping bag in there now as a pillar. That's ready to Rock and roll. <laughs> I'm quite liking this so far. Let's see how I sleep tonight. I'll let you know in the morning, eh? So we've got the sleeping bag in there now. Should be nice and toasty. Yeah. I wonder if it stretches and scrape my arse off the off the ground. So far so good, that's all ready for bed, but uh, I think I'm going to have some uh, tea in a bit and uh, I've got a little bit of southern comfort there, which I'm going to enjoy, but uh, up to now, I was a bit dubious at first, but up to now I'm quite impressed. <laughs> ah, so it's quite warm, <laughs> it's definitely not cold, it must be like the uh, forest must insulate you against the cold. Um, the wind is getting up a little bit, but there's no movement in the trees yet. So I think I'm quite safe. But it's supposed to get worse in the morning. I don't think I'm gonna get a lot of sleep, but the hammock is set up. I've been in it, and uh, my arse doesn't touch the ground. And uh, it, it sprays a little bit. So I think I'm gonna get seasick. Never mind, I've got to try these things. I'm quite impressed actually, you know, it's quite good. Um, the quality is quite good. I, I think it probably could do with a few tweaks, like where the door goes up to hold the doors up. It's, uh, they don't really work very well. It needs something in the middle. But I can upgrade that myself. It's an easy fix that. Um, but aye, it's quite, uh, quite good quality for the price as well. I think they're £120. And essentially it's a tent in the air. It's quite good. I like it. I'm quite excited about going to bed. Not just yet. I'm going to um, set me, me stove. I've got me um, I've got me alcohol burner stove and I have my one tigress camping fire pit thing, I don't know what you call it, it's a fire stove, it just makes it a bit safer, because I am in a pine forest, it's quite dry so, um, unlike some people here, I'm not having any fire, as in like a open fire. Now just after four o'clock, so it'll be getting dark pretty quick now. About five o'clock, I'm not sure. But uh, 
got my head torch ready because it's going to get quite dark in these forests. In this forest, or wood, whatever you want to call it. I think I could quite like woodland camping in summer, maybe, where you can camp in um, like an English forest. In, uh, but I think there's somewhere where I've got in mind uh, you have to send them an email and you get permission basically to do bushcraft and camp in the woods, which is better because you, you just feel at ease again. Because here, even here, I'm a little bit worried about getting turfed away. But I think it's unlikely now. It's a lot different to what I'm used to. I'm used to being up on a fell, past the stone walls and stuff. So it's a little bit different. It, there's a lot of people do it. There must be a lot of people doing it because there's fires all, there's remnants of fires all everywhere, which is a shame. Uh, I haven't seen much rubbish though, so it's quite. I, I have watched some videos where there's rubbish about around here, but I haven't seen any yet. I've seen, I think I've seen a can, an empty can, but otherwise it's quite tidy. So anyway, I'm going to set this up. I think I'm gonna wait a little bit before I cook it. I'm gonna have a little, little sup of me here, uh, some comfort, which I said I wasn't gonna, but I have. So it's about quarter to five now. It's still light. I never even realised it was. <laughs> Summer's on its way, I guess. Anyway, I'm having a little bit of a wander about. I've had a few subs of uh, southern comfort, calming nerves, because the trees, are, the wind's getting up and the trees are starting to sway a little bit. <laughs> be all right. but, uh, obviously it's uh, it's quite getting quite dark in here now. You probably can't see it in the camera, but it's getting dark. Anyway, I'm quite well hidden. I've put I've put my tarp up just in case it rains. I don't think it's going to, but. If, if it rains, I don't want to be like sitting in my hammock. <laughs> I've got a cook and stuff, so I've put a tarp up. That's the, that's that's the problem with the hammock. It's for fair weather. Um, if you put a hammock up, you're going to have to have a tarp up as well. So anyway, but I am quite impressed with it. <laughs> It'd be cool in the summer. Really good. Um, definitely worth the money. There it is. suspended in the canopy. <laughs> and it is quite comfortable, believe it or not. And I've got a bad back, so... <laughs> I've never slept in a canopy before, so I guess I'll have to wait and see. Um, they did make the logo smaller. A nice piece of kit, actually. I like it. I'm, I'm liking it so far. Definitely worth the money. If you're going to have a hammock, you've got to have a hammock, just in case. You know, if your friends go, do you want to come hammock camping? <laughs> if you haven't got a hammock, you're not going to. This is a pretty good hammock. I'm talking shite. Anyway, that is it. And I'm quite happy with it. Up to now. <laughs> Mind, I'm about 16 stone. And I haven't done me maths, but this is put. I'll have to put the stats up on the screen of what weight this takes, um, and what weight I am. So I might be pretty much on the limit for it. Um, but there's bigger, there's bigger blokes than me. There's bigger people than me. Uh, so I'm guessing it, it must be pretty strong. It said something about it being parachute material. I don't know, but it is good quality. I suppose it would have to be to meet the health and safety standards, otherwise it'd get sued, wouldn't it? It just didn't take the right weight. But uh, yeah, I like it. Anyway, I've set up, I've got my um, tarp up just in case it rains, because it says it was going to, it might not. But I've got my um, burner and that ready, I'm going to put some tea on just now, because I'm quite peckish.
I'm in my hammock. Um, I think it's something you've got to get used to, getting in and out. And I still don't know um, what I'm going to do when I need a, a bathroom break. Because, I mean, I'm comfy, I'm warm, I'm dry. Um, I feel like I'm a butterfly in a cocoon. And um, I'm gently being sweared, like rocked, I'm getting rocked to sleep, it's well unusual, but it's like difficult to get in and out, um, but it's nice, don't get wrong, it's quite nice, it's uh, Touchy pegs at the end, um, and it's only eight o'clock. <laughs> oh, actually, it's just stopped swaying now, it's nice and steady, and it is comfy. It's bloody weird to think like you're off the ground. People have to like let us know what their experience, experiences were hammock camping. Because I've just, because uh, it's very strange, but this is, this is a nice hammock, but I've never had any other hammocks, but I like it. I'm nice and warm now, I think I'll probably go to sleep, and I'll catch us in the morning. Well, it's about uh, quarter past six in the morning now, and it's still a little bit dark. It's starting to get light now. <coughs> and um, the verdict on the hammock is, drum roll, I've had the best night's sleep ever. It's more comfortable than my bed. Absolutely tremendous. Yeah, so I'm very impressed with this. Um, definitely. Anyway, I've left a link for it in the description. If you're uh, interested in it. Easier to find. <coughs> but um, <laughs> I think I've been converted. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to wait for it to get light before I get out. Because... I can't be bothered to move around in the dark. Damn. It's still a little bit dark. Yeah. But, uh, got the light up here. Well, I'm up. I've had breakfast and a cup of coffee and I've cleaned up uh, as always leave no trace um, the verdict on the night cat hammock and I can't believe I'm seeing this I can't believe I didn't have a hammock until now they're so comfortable I've, I've never had a I've had the best I've had the best night's sleep ever on a wild cam. I'm not even joking. I've got a bad back and it feels tremendous this morning. All I needed was a hammock. But yeah, brilliant. Uh, it rained a bit last night, but that hammock's got like a tent over the top. Uh, nothing came in. Um, the only thing that kept us 
woke us up a couple of times was the uh, wind because I'm I'm in a in the rig which is like a like a pine forest. I don't know if it's pine, like big tall skinny trees. And uh, the wind did give it some welly last night and I thought I thought I was I'm, I'm terrified of uh, widow makers because if you look around there's lots of fallen trees. So they do fall <laughs> regularly. If you fancy one of them night cats, I've left a link in the description. Yeah, easy to find. Also, if you're interested in the Brave 7 action cam, I've left a link in the description for that as well. And uh, you get 20% off if you use this code as well. And I've left that in the description. So, if you fancy one of them. So, I'm going to get this pack on and meet me back to the car. It's only about 15, 20 minutes walk to the car. Thank God. And I'm going to go home. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, drop a like, comment if you like. I'm still answering the comments because I still don't get umpting. Uh, tell us what you think about hammocks. What's your experience with them? Because mine was pretty good, like for the first time I've ever been woodland camping and I found it really nice. <laughs> I'll be doing it again in the summer. I don't fancy this uh, windy conditions again. But anyway, I'll catch you later. See you next time.